Warm weather does return. The crowds in resort towns like Stillwater will as well. But foodies know that Stillwater is a year round destination. That's true. And more and more cocktail nerds are feeling the same way with several new options for craft cocktails in Stillwater. Brick and Bourbon opened on Main Street in January and pairs down home flavors with innovative techniques worthy of a trip from wherever and worthy of being Mike's Mix. There's always been that draw to let's go down to Stillwater, let's go visit Stillwater, especially in the summer, the spring, and the fall when the colors change. There's a draw to Stillwater, so we're, we're happy to be a part of it. The owners of Brick and Bourbon, Adam, Gary, and Brandon, who wasn't able to join us, know that their success is propped up in part by Stillwater's strong foundation of hospitality. The town has been just absolutely phenomenal for us. There's an appreciation of, of fine quality products. You know, for us, we want to bring Scratch Kitchen, craft cocktails, um, legendary service, and people have appreciated that. Of course, it doesn't hurt that stepping inside this 130-year-old building is a feast for the senses. Throughout the day, you're going to smell anything from uh, bacon, um, steak, uh, fresh hamburgers. Uh, then you're going to get into the drink side of things. You're going to smell oaks, pecan, uh, cherry woods. Applewoods. The 28 foot ceilings soar. We love the exposed brick. We love the exposed beam. And the barrel theme carries from the artwork on the walls to artwork on the ceiling. It takes a lot to get uh, a representation of, of a rack house up there, even though it's just those 12 barrels. People being here two or three times before they even see it, actually. We just wanted to make sure that this space had every thought um, put into it before we open the doors. The cocktails range from cheeky, the floating Yoda is a boozy mint ice cream float, to commanding like their signature smoked maple old fashioned. We picked out our own barrel from Knob Creek. Uh, so we use Knob Creek single, and that pairs very well um, with the uh, very caramel oak finishes. So the oak with the oak, and then the uh, Vermont maple syrup. And then we're going to use some orange bitters. Um, really brings out uh, the flavor profile. Two ounces of the Knob Creek single barrel meet an ounce of real maple syrup and five dashes of Reagan's orange bitters. Stirred over ice and garnished with house-made bacon, a rip of blood orange, and a waffle. The recipe to this point is interesting, albeit still classic. The next part stops the show dozens of times per day. So we're going to take this and put this in our cake, cake container. A smoke machine puffs out a flavored haze that infuses into the cocktail and onto the glass. It's ready to go for you. Do you mind? Can I? You're, it's all you. I would love to do this. This is so You exciting. have to go slow for dramatic okay. effect. Wow. Oh, there's still some left in there. And everybody does that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a campfire breakfast. So it's a campfire breakfast in a glass. There you go. Got your waffle, you got your citrus, you got your bacon, you got your booze. That recipe is at WCCO.com slash Mike's Mix. Looks good.